What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today I'm gonna give you an update on a pretty controversial plant unboxing. When I started this channel, I told myself that I would always be 100% honest on my feelings about plants that I ordered in the mail. Of course, I want to be fair to the sellers and keep my expectations reasonable, but um, sometimes I get disappointed and I did get a mild amount of um, criticism for being negative in my previous unboxing that we're about to do an update on. I won't mince words, I was not happy with my order. It wasn't the first time I got really poorly packed items, but it was far and away the worst packing job I have ever gotten in my entire history of ordering plants on the internet. And I did more than just complain about it on a video on YouTube. I also contacted Josh's Frogs customer service. I let them know how I felt. I let them know about my experience. I even ordered another plant from them and had another bad experience. And I let them know about that as well to the point where I actually ended up talking to Josh as I've told before. So I wasn't just complaining on a video. I consider a part of my job on YouTube as somebody who may influence somebody to buy from a company, um, I think it's my responsibility to be honest and then you can make your decision um, with your own free will based on that knowledge and perhaps other unboxings because, you know, my experience isn't everybody's. So, you know, long disclaimer short, don't get upset with me if I'm a little sassy, okay? It's who I am. It's who I am. New Year, same me, okay? You may have also noticed I am rocking some fresh new My Clean Leaves merch. I decided to get the little tank top because it'll be good for the summertime. Uh, I like my armpits to be free, mostly because everything irritates them and I like oxygen to touch them. <laughs> That's enough about my armpits. <laughs> Okay, Pam. So uh, we are going to do this little unboxing update. You guys have been asking me to uh, see an update about what happened with these plants. Did they live? Did they die? What happened? So your wish is my command. Let's take a look at how they're doing. First, I'll show you the one that was potentially the saddest plant I have ever received in the mail, and that was the Philodendron Macaulay's Finale. Now, it says it's a Macaulay's Finale. I'm not entirely sure that it is. It looks an awful lot like a Prince of Orange to me, but um, it's still very young. So, you know, who knows? It's still in the original um, pot, you know, no need to take it out right now. Uh, and I didn't want to upset it any more than it had already been upset. But it is basically, it is in my, uh, my room where I keep my plants that make me sad to look at, but also they get very nice window light in there. Um, and um, obviously I take care of them as well, but they're just not the first thing I see every day because frankly it stresses me out. So you can see there's a little leaf making its way out and this um, really pretty like burnt orange looking leaf is uh, the first new leaf that I've had since I got it. So, so it is growing its second leaf and you know, it's um, very unattractive, but it is not dead. I do think it will recover. I did get a pretty sad um, Prince of Orange from Josh's Frogs. Nowhere near that sad. I mean, this was like, this was in the good old days when I thought, you know, some broken and damaged leaves were a sad arrival. Um, but turns out it could be so much worse. So this is, this is a little, ruining a little bit um, of an update that I'm filming as well for this unboxing, but um, that's okay. For the purposes of this video, I will show you that this is a philodendron Prince of Orange that I got from Josh's Fred. As you can see, it just put out this insanely beautiful leaf. I have this under my Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. Um, it's very dusty. Shame on me. So as you can see, they do grow. I mean, it doesn't take that long in the grand scheme of things. So let's see, when did I get you? So I got this in November of 2018. So it's I've had it for a little over a year and I did get it at this size. So this will give you an idea of what you can expect if you know your plants do grow and they do live um, from the small Josh's frogs, philodendrons, they, they do grow. So I do see a lot of complaining 
um, from people who aren't familiar with the way that Josh's Frogs does things that the plants are so small when they get them. Um, but I think that's kind of part of why the prices are so low. And, you know, they do grow. So you can actually see this was the one of the original leaves um, from when I first got this philodendron. It's still on there. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how long it takes for them to get, you know, like a, a, a better size. <laughs> Next, I will show you the Monstera Siltipicanas. I ordered two of them and um, one of them is still in the original container that it came in. And then I moved another one to a bigger pot. Now this one, for some reason, is doing a lot better than this one. I'm not too sure what's going on. They're in literally the exact same conditions, but they both did get attacked by thrips, which came from another nursery. <laughs> thrips would not have gone directly for these plants had they been healthy to begin with, but they are making a comeback. And as you can see, they have grown. Um, I think we've gotten on top of the thrip issue. It's just, you know, the damage on some of the leaves has been done. And if you don't know what that looks like, I will show you. You could see like the little brown patches that are missing. And a lot of times it will look like um, your plant has been sort of scraped by the um, thrips. So yeah, they definitely, they will make a plant ugly really fast. And you will know them if you see them. They look like little aliens. I had never had them before. So uh, yeah. Yeah, so shout out to nurseries giving me literally every kind of pest this year except for one and I'm not even going to say it out loud because I don't want to speak it into existence. Okay, so next I will show you the um, snake plant, a Sansevieria or Dracaena uh, zeolinica and I had always wanted one of these as well as a black coral. I now have both, which is very exciting. Thank you, Heather. This thing arrived in pretty rough shape. Um, I've literally never seen one of these leaves die, I think, in my whole life. So um, I guess we know what'll do it. <laughs> so it continues to be somewhat unattractive. Uh, it took such a beating on the way here that um, it's probably going to be ugly for like a really long time. And that was one of the reasons why I was super disappointed um, because it seems like from my back and forth with them that they are aware that their shipping isn't great, but they feel like because they are willing to give you a credit or replace your plant that that sort of makes up for it. And um, I disagree. They're still alive. They're just, um, you know, they're not the prettiest girls in the room and you know, same, it's fine. Last up, I'm gonna show you the Peperomia Meridiana. So this one was probably the biggest disappointment for me. Um, I always expect Peperomia to take a little bit of a beating in the mail. Um, that's just kind of what they do. Uh, but even before it took the beating in the mail, uh, this was a weird plant. It was just two stems, you know, it looked like it was sort of vitoliated. I do see what may be new leaves forming on the nodes um, here where it has lost an entire side of its leaves. And it also arrived with leaves looking like this. Um, so I haven't removed a whole lot of leaves from these plants um, because they already lost so many that I'm afraid to take more off. Um, and this one's just going to look ridiculous very soon. So um, this looks a little bit like... Uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but a peperomia. So um, it's got a little bit of a gangster lean. I, I don't, I don't think that that's going to fix itself. So I think this is just how it's going to look. You can see it's getting a little, um, little tiny leaf down here that's like super cute. So I'm hoping that this guy makes it. Um, so far, seems okay. The new growth coming in isn't spotted or messed up in any way. So. I'm taking that as me doing something right and uh, hopefully it makes it. So, so far that is what's going on with my plants from that ill-fated Josh's Frogs order. Um, it's, t it's tough when you get plants that are in bad shape because um, they immediately become the pest magnet in the house. Um, they're susceptible to all kinds of different things, you know, just from being weakened on the way there. So um, as always, it is a good practice to isolate your plants when you first get them. You don't want them to pass bugs or anything to anyone else. Um, I have learned that lesson the hard way 
many times. Well, I guess I haven't learned it at all. If you're curious, this was the other plant that I ordered from Josh's Frogs. It has <laughs> this plant. I don't know what happened. I think something must have gotten sprayed on it at some point. I, d I don't know if here or somewhere else. I think when this leaf was curled up, this was on the outside um, because it hasn't happened to any other leaves that have come off of this. It doesn't seem to be spreading. It definitely seems like a contact damage of some kind. But yeah, this is my velvet leaf Syngonium. So this was the last plant that I ordered from Josh's Frogs. Um, and yeah, I haven't been back since. Um, I'm just not ready to forgive yet. So for now, this will be the, the last one. But I do have more Josh's Frogs order updates because uh, that's just where I ordered from for a long time. So it, I think it's fun to watch updates even if you know it's not a company that um, I'm actively ordering from. So if you like these kind of videos, let me know down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you would be so kind. It helps me out so much and I appreciate you guys as always. I will catch you in the next one.